All right, welcome to part two. I'm going to tell you the next five things you should have in your cupboard at all times. Cumin. Cumin's a must-have. If you're making chili, if you're making Mexican food, must-have cumin. Next, chili powder. Same deal. Mexican food, chili, got to have chili powder. There's a couple different varieties. Mild, uh, ancho, dark. Just get regular chili powder. Red. Next is paprika. I like paprika. Doesn't have tons of flavor, but it does add a little bit of something, something, and it gives good color. Paprika is basically a sweet red pepper ground up versus a chili powder, which is generally hot. You should have rosemary in your cupboard. Rosemary on pork or potatoes is absolutely delicious. You can't compare it to dry to fresh. Fresh rosemary is out of sight. But if you ain't got nothing else, dry rosemary and do it. Dry thyme. I love thyme. That's probably my favorite herb out there. Again, fresh thyme is the bomb, but dry thyme will get you there. All right, now don't bother buying that junky taco seasoning in the little packet in the store. Most of that is filler, and you don't want it. Plus, it's really orange, and there really ain't nothing in my Mexican spices that's going to make it real orange. So, you already have all the stuff in your cabinet. Salt, pepper, granulated garlic, granulated onion, cumin, chili powder, paprika, and oregano. Mix those together. You got it. Bam. Mexican spice. Put it on pork, ground meat, ground turkey, ground beef, ground pork, any of that. Just put it all on there. Some uh, coarse pepper flake. That's real nice to have right there. Yeah. Spice it up a little. Dill. Dill. Some dried dill is nice. Another. That's another one. Fresh and dried dill just aren't the same. But it's delicious. Pretty much like on some vegetables. You can put it on potatoes. Make some your own ranch dressing. You have this, you can make your own ranch dressing. You can make your own delicious ranch dressing. Not that junky stuff in a bottle. Salt, pepper, onion, garlic, dill. If you want to make it no cow, use some low fat yogurt. A little bit of milk, thin it out a little bit. Bam, you got some ranch dressing. Uh, Italian seasoning. This is the only blend I would get. Because this has a little bit of everything. If you don't want to spend the coin on having a bunch of herbs and spices, or at least herbs, you get this here, Italian seasoning. It has oregano, marjoram, thyme, rosemary, and sage. So that's a nice combo. Very versatile. Something like dill ain't so versatile. Sage on its own is nice. Biscuits and gravy. Potatoes. Uh, stuffing. Turkey. When you smell it, that's all the things you think of. At least that's what I think of. Basil. Basil. Some nice basil. Some pasta sauce. Mmm, that smells real nice. Bring me back to my childhood at my grandma's house. Mmm. Alright, some bay leaf. A lot of people don't know about no bay leaf. You put some bay leaf in some beef stew or some chili, some red sauce, it's going to be delicious. Just take the bay leaf out before you serve it because you can't really eat it. Look at that right there. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So I need to have these spices anywhere I go. If you're single, if you're married, if you live in an apartment, if you're in college, you should have these spices in your cabinet. Might run you like 30 bucks. It's well worth the investment for flavor for your food. Look at this here. I'm going to show you my traveler. We go up to deer camp. You know I'm bringing this here. Go out camping. Shoot, even when I go to somebody's house, I'm not really sure about. If I'm going to be cooking, I need to have my spices. All right. I mean, that's pretty much my traveler right there. You know, you bring this here. You Anywhere you go, you can make anything you want. All right, that's all I have to say right now about herbs and spices. Check me out, like my station, subscribe to it, Twitter it, Facebook it, do all that good stuff. Check you later.